and start burning your belt up and that's bad so you don't want to do that when it comes to cleaning one of these things and if you've got grit or rust or anything like that that's on the face of these things that comes in contact you don't want to use a sander you want to use a wire brush you don't want to use anything that's going to give this steel texture don't want any of that and that wire wheel didn't give it any texture it did take that crap off though so yeah it's one very important thing these things are designed a specific way because they perform a certain way and when you start trying to change that or manipulate it uh, you, you literally start changing the properties on how these things are supposed to work I think it's kind of funny uh, when I first came out with the design of the uh, the a cart I had people bitching at me about how the front suspension worked why in the hell would you want to make it so that way your bump steer would cause the you know you create it it, it it it's designed to create a lot of bump steer to help it push the cart back up into place I had a lot of people out there saying well that was a stupid idea what'd you do that for and I was like you know it works it helps the design there's nothing wrong with the design because it works really damn good and I sat there and I thought about it and I was like you know something people sit there and laugh and bitch about the stuff that I do but you know a long time ago I'm sure somebody was like what the hell are you talking about you want to design a thing that constantly rubs steel on a chunk of rubber yeah okay like who in the hell is gonna buy into that <laughs> but anyway so I got this pretty well cleaned here Yeah. Okay. Now we're going to put it back together. Put those. Oh, wait, 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 wait. This is going to be a hellaciously easier if I put springs on first, or at least one of them. You know, I sat there and looked around to see if there was some reason, some way that these springs, is there a special way that these springs go on? And apparently there isn't. So, there's no special placement form or anything. You want to make sure also when you put this insert back in, you'll see how you've got the flat sides here. And you'll have flat sides in there. They line right up. You just put the clamshell back together. Voila! Take your little wedding ring, and you stick it on there. And then you go put it right back on your machine. There's no oiling. There's no, you never put oil inside these things. You never put any grease or lubricant or anything like that. There is, because this system is set up as a dry lubricant system. There's stuff you can buy uh, that you spray inside of here that is designed for these things. 
you can find it at uh, gokartsupply.com. Um, I think they sell it. I don't know if they sell the original stuff that Comet made for these, but they'll probably have some some of the equivalent of it. And uh, that's the only type of lubricant that you want to put in these things. You do not ever want to put oil or axle grease or anything like that in here. This is dry. Always dry. Yep. I normally don't tell people specific things on anything that I do. However, that is one thing that I will tell you not to ever do. Never put oil or drip oil inside of here or anything like that to try to get these things to work better because you'll just end up messing it all up. Looks like I'm going to need to get some new weights sometime because I don't have very much. This nickel stuff right here is what helps it slide on the inside and when that, start, when that stuff gets lost, then... Uh, these don't work as smoothly as they are brand new. I mean, they'll still work, yeah, but I mean, they're just not nice and smooth. So, yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's how it works. Very simple. And uh, there's a post, a sticky post, as we call it, on DIY go karts. Of, uh, that was done by Blaze and he works at a place where he works on go-karts all day long well not really much as, as much as he used to now because he's going to school so um, I'll try to find that link to that post and he's got a very damn good detailed way of cleaning torque converters um, it's primarily I think, if I remember right, the, the post is primarily concerned about Comet 20, 30, and I don't know if it says anything about the 40 series. I don't know, but yeah, that's pretty much it. That's what's inside these things. That's how you clean it. Just pretty much wipe it out, and you wipe it out with something. You don't. I wouldn't suggest using water because water will just sit in here and it'll start rusting up and corroding inside here if you don't use it right away or get it hot enough to evaporate all the water which is why I use lacquer thinner that stuff just you know, cleans it up and then dries the hell out of everything and including your hands and everything so but yeah that's pretty much it's very simple to do very basic to do um, yeah this is actually, a, this This here is an original Comet clutch. It says Comet, and then it says made, or patent pending, Richmond, Indiana. Yeah! Some of these will have a stamp of 20 or 30 series on them, or a 20, and 20 doesn't necessarily mean that it's a 20 series torque converter or driver. It's just a, you know, a 20 degree angle. So, but this one has nothing, nothing on it at all except for Comet Industries yeah hmm. but there you go you guys so this is how I how you clean up your your uh, yeah. wow what was that oh it was probably that guy down the street just shot his wife yeah drunk bitch yeah, I think I might clean off some of this rust. See, this this uh, driver that you see here, it came off of the green Manco. My the 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 torque converter that's on the reverse tracker, the quad, that thing does not have one of these. So what what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this one on there, and then the Manco just won't have one. So, but I still need to buy one of these. I still need to find some place where I can get one of these. Uh, oh well. And by the time, depending upon when you're watching this video, I'll probably have like three. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, there we go, people. Let's how you clean your your uh, Comet driver on your torque converter. That's pretty much it. Now you don't always have to, depending upon how old yours is sometimes you can just grab this 
weight and slide it out but mine but this one hasn't been used very much and it's really uh, it grips in there really good yep. some of these things you can buy that have limiters speed limiters in them what those are is right here these posts right here are threaded and you have a nut on the end there which means that these weights can only expand so far but I wouldn't suggest getting any of those because the more crap that's in here the more different things that, are, that you have inside of one of these the more stuff can go wrong so yeah alright so See, I've been operating it without one of those brass bushings in there for a while now. See how nice and shiny that is? That's the way they should be. <laughs> and, oh, you can kind of see it still. See that stuff? Uh, see that ring right there? Yeah, that ring was all that crap that was on this before I took the wire wheel to it. And even though you can still see it, it's smooth feel smooth so yep and we're going to I'm going to slide it in there with one hand yeah, I got an idea for a new type of camera mount <laughs> you guys will get a kick out of it if I can ever get my ass motivated to build the dang thing okay stick that on there my viewers <laughs> I think it's about time I need to get some new bearings for this jack shaft in here what do you guys think yeah I don't think that's a <laughs> see if we can get inside there and see yeah I'd have to say it's about time for some new bearings yeah. Hmm. Well, guys, that's what I did tonight. And that's how you clean a. Well, at least that's the way I clean mine. So, all right. I'm pretty sure it's going to work. So, all right, you guys, take it easy, and uh, I'll talk at you later. Bye bye.